right then it is match number one of the first stage of the T20 World Cup which will be taking place in Oman. It will be an absolute amazing cricketing time as the T20 World Cup is finally here. We're all waiting for the T20 World Cup after the Indian T20 and finally the World Cup is here. Remember this is stage one. Two teams will qualify to the Super 12s and it will be an absolute enticing affair there. Hello everyone, welcome back to another MSP video presented by Tracker. Today we're going to talk about the T20 World Cup, the first game of stage 1 in a group B. It will be played between Oman and Papua New Guinea, an amazing game to kickstart the T20 World Cup. But before I jump right into the video, I would request all of you to like, comment and share. And if you like the content, then please subscribe to our channel because you'll be getting amazing content from us. So without further ado, let's quickly dive deep into the video. Now if you take a look at the probable playing 11 of the Oman team, then opening the batting will be Jatinder Singh and Khawar Ali, two amazing openers, they can wreck havoc with the bat. At number 3 will be Akib Ilyas, followed by Zishan Maksud. At number 4, the skipper of the ship will be at number 4. Followed by number 5 will be Ayan Khan, followed by the wicketkeeper of the team, Naseem Khushi. Then at number 7 will be Sandeep Gaut, followed by the four bowlers in the form of Muhammad Nadeem, Fayaz Bhatt, Kalimullah and Bilal Khan. Now if you take a look at the probable playing 11 of the Papua New Guinea team, then opening the batting will be Lega Siaka and Tony Ura, two amazing batsmen with a lot of cricketing prowess under their belt. At number 3 will be the veteran skipper Asad Wala who will have his task cut out. At number 4 will be Charles Amini followed by the wicketkeeper of the team Kiplin Doriga, followed by Sese Bau and then Norman Vanua at number 7. Followed by the four bowlers in the form of Jason Keela, Chad Soper, Nosain Apokana and there will be a toss up between Damien Ravu and Kabu Amoria. So that will be the probable playing 11 of the Papua New Guinea squad. Now we take a look at the head to head battle between the Oman and the Papua New Guinea team that both the teams have never faced each other in T20I cricket. This will be the first time they will actually face and both the teams will be eager to draw blood draw first blood not just in the tournament but also when it comes to the head to head battle between these two teams. Now if we take a look at the stadium in which this game will be played, it will be played at the Al Amirat Cricket Stadium in Muscat which is in Oman. The average first inning score in the last 5 games over here is 166 teams that have chased, have won on 2 occasions and have lost on 3 occasions in the last 5 matches that have been played over here. Now if we take a look at few of the players who can actually play a crucial role in this game, if we take a look at few of the top players to watch out for then first we have Tony Ura from the Papua New Guinea side he has scored 754 runs so far in a T20 cricket he's also smashed 550s and 100 next if you take a look at Bilal Khan and Bilal Khan has bad 51 wickets so far in T20 cricket. Next if you take a look at Khawar Ali then he has scored 601 runs and has also bagged 35 wickets. Next if you take a look at Norman Vanua the Norman Vanua has mustered 344 runs and 150 and has also scalped 35 wickets. So these are the top players to watch out for in this particular match. So with that we come to an end to this particular MSP video presented by Click Tracker. I hope you like the content but before I go I would request all of you to subscribe to our channel and also head to our telegram channel because that is the place where you'll be getting the best kind of